Hello everyone, this is TailsVone9 and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Adventure! So in the last video, we lost Fuji in an inn and ended up going into this cave to search for an item that might be able to help us out. We did find a sickle also, which is going to be necessary to get farther into the cave. <laughs> if only that meant I could just get more health, but you know what? I can use this opportunity to use up my last candy. There we go. Now I'm sugar hyped to get through this. Oh, you've got 10 hit points? That's a freaking lot. Well, I'll use a cure spell for this one. There. Oh. Oh my gosh. Come on. No. Oh man. These enemies really are strong. Wow. And all because this game gave me like no opportunities to get actual defense other than one helmet. And that fish thing is really fast. I don't know what to call it, so I'm going to call it a fish thing. Oh, look. Gotta use another mad talk. Oh, wh whoops. I thought I had the mad talk activated. Oh, shoot. This is my last one. I've only got one more now. Great. Maybe I should have bought another mad talk. But I can't really go back now. Well, maybe I technically could. I lucked out. Ow. Okay. And let me guess, you want a key, don't ya? I know you don't, okay. I didn't have one equipped, so... <gasps> Level up! And it got rid of my stat, too? Nice! I'm not poisoned anymore! Oh, no I am, it's a music glitch. It's my last pure, make it count. Don't get poisoned again! Oh, these bouncing enemies, I wish I could hurt them myself. Okay, this one is locked. But I've got plenty of keys now, so... No worries there, and... Okay, here's another little puzzle. Where we're gonna have to reach, I think, the bottom tile. I don't think the one on top actually does anything. But, gosh darn it, I'm almost dead again. It's your job to kill those guys, because I can't. So we go up here, and then... Oh, this puzzle requires a mad talk, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, why? I hate these things! I can't hurt them! Alright, so there we go. Stairs. And oh my gosh, finally boss time. Let's save before fighting the boss. And maybe equip something that would actually be useful. Cure! Maybe get our willpower filled up before going in to fight the second boss of the game. Technically, this is the first real boss, in a sense. I mean, the Jackal was pitifully easy. And now we're going to fight a Hydra. Who moves up and down along the water, shooting fire, and every now and then comes in to lunge at you, which is your time to attack. Position yourself accordingly so that his heads don't hurt you. Honestly, his fireballs really shouldn't be much of a problem. What will be a problem is trying to get him to actually come close to you. Because it's kind of difficult to hurt him otherwise. As long as you stay out of his reach, though, this should be a pretty easy fight. When he really comes in close, that gives you an opportunity to make in a lot of hits. So this fight is really more of a fight of patience than anything else, and... Really? All that missed? He follows a very simple pattern. Very easy to read, making his attacks very easy to avoid. You know, unless you get up close like I did, because I'm just getting impatient by this point. 
It's a very simple boss. You know, I don't even think that's hurting him. Yeah, okay, I'm just getting impatient now, but who wouldn't? It seems like I'm not even hurting him. You know, unless maybe the sickle doesn't actually work. It does. It's just hard to hit him with. And there we go. We get two items. We get the Magic Book of Fire, which is an attack-based spell. And we get the mirror. Show it to the guy at Ketz. He'll scream and show his true colors. Bye. Uh, bye. Now, how much... Farther to oh, ages away, ages away. Uh, let's save. I don't want to screw anything up now. <sighs> the tired but true RPG rule of save often, especially if the game lets you. And I still can't kill these things. What the heck? There we go. Back to the inn. I don't have any pures anymore, so... Well, hot diggity! But I think this time I'll just endure... Oh, look! It ran out already. Hello? Is the mirror in my... Uh, yes, it is. Welcome to Ketz. Rooms ahead are occupied. Please feel free to use the western room. You can't get past this door. It's for Mr. Lee. <laughs> oh no! It's a wolf. To where? Uh, oh, uh, that's just perfect. He just jumps out of the screen. Of course. Careful, he can do claw swipes. And there we go. Now we can actually enter the dungeon that this place is, and it's Halloween themed, of course. Ow. Maybe I should save. I will definitely save. Anyways, Fire Magic is a basic attack spell. It uses only one MP, and yeah, it's fire based. It can kill these guys at least, so I'm happy about that. Unfortunately, I don't have much magic for curing purposes anymore, so... It might be time to start using this. I hope I'm getting a lot of experience. Uh, not enough. This might be a little tricky. I should save very often. Okay, thank you. I think I'll use up the one of these now. Oh, gosh. Oh good, I was able to push that guy with my shield. How lovely. Oh, pumpkins. They're easy enough. Good, uh, what do you drop? A pillow. I think that's a sleep type of item. I usually just keep those and sell them for money. <laughs> Eventually you'll get spells for them and I just use those. Oh gosh, I wonder which way we go. The obvious path or this? I do remember that there really wasn't anything over there, so let's just go this way. And fight some more mice and zombies. Zombies! Yay! Um, why not? I'll use a fire spell. I would've been upset if that didn't kill him in one blow. I should be close to a level up by this point, I think. Oh, you stupid mouse. Gosh, I don't recall getting poisoned this often in the game. I must be doing real bad. Well, of course I am. I'm recording. The recording curse. Every time you record, you must automatically do worse. So, there we go. Leveled up. Yes. Perfect. My defense went up by one point. I think stamina affects that along with health. 
I think. I mean, it makes sense, unless it's Will. It could be Will. I don't know. One of them does it. I don't know. Gotta get rid of some of these guys. There. At least now I won't perish. Hey, wait a minute. What's up there? That switch is bound to create another staircase. I just want to look up here quickly. Um, It's probably something I have to get this way first. Spikes! Don't touch them! You might puncture your foot! Oh, hi. I don't like those things because I'm forced to use magic to kill it! Oh, well. Oh! I keep forgetting what I have equipped. Locked him. I'm starting to question if I should even be going this way. Yeah, uh, I th there's probably like the whip upstairs. I'm gonna go back and check. I can't remember. What I did was very dumb. Ooh, crystals. Those are, I believe, are very good to sell for money. Having fun there, game? Are you getting tired? What was that little trumpet blow. Oh. I really gotta check these things more thoroughly before I start second guessing myself and wasting my items. I mean, I got enough Matox and keys right now, but seriously, I don't like wasting items in this game because of that one incident I had in one of the last dungeons of the game where I ran out of keys and couldn't even get anymore. There was no way to get out and none of the enemies dropped keys. I think that was a bit of an oversight on their part. But yeah, it is sad to think this game does have a potential game-breaking moment. And it's one that can easily be triggered if you just don't overly stock up on keys. And oh, look. We got the chain whip. Another new weapon type. And this one is pretty nice, so we'll use it for a while. We can use it to get across these. You can latch onto poles. It's kind of like a hookshot. Before the hookshot was even a thing. Well, a Link to the Past might have been out in Japan by this point, but who knows. Unfortunately, it still cannot hurt these things. So, life still stinks. How many more points? Um... I can use one, but... Okay, let's just see how much they even give. Let's see, I'm at 992. And now I'm at... They only get five. That's, I'm not killing all of them. Of course, now how am I supposed to get out? At least they don't hurt much anymore. I'm going to switch to Cure Magic right now. I'm close enough to a level up that I can use the rest of my magic on that. Okay, I'm up. Now let's travel across the sky. Yeah, that thing gets longer when you fill it up, but it's more useful than the sickle because in a few moments it's going to be necessary to even reach certain poles. Pound it to the ground. Hello. More cure. What the heck? Are there any weapons that can hurt those guys? Uh, maybe I should just drop down. and find the way down even farther. Oh boy. That's a fast mouse. What the heck? Okay, this guy's in the way. Instead of waiting for him, let's just kill him right now. Because, yes, he was still in the way. 
Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. Anything here? No. I'm sure there's another way downstairs. I just gotta find it. Are you joking? Holy! Alright, use another pure. Nothing there. Nothing there. Alright, so this was a waste. Okay, I leveled up at least. I'm lost. I'm lost in a haunted inn. Full of owls and zombies and mice and pumpkins and ghost blobs, I guess. This place is horrifying. Oh, bother. These things just keep getting in the way. Okay, you asked for a wise guy. For a zombie, you sure are a wise one. Okay, so that wasn't the correct way to go. So I just wasted my time. We want to go this way. I'm probably going there. I'm just assuming because it's blocked off with pots. Oh boy, a puzzle. That was so hard. <laughs> Going down. Hmm. Oh, hold it. Yep. Sneaky. Those are the kind of puzzles you have to expect in this game. Maybe a a little obtuse by today's standards, especially because you have to use up one of your precious items and know that my talk is completely gone. But hey, this is an older game. It's bound to happen. Okay, uh, she's in one of these. There we go. Fuji! Oh, Sumo! Let's get out of here. That's a good idea. And while we're going back, you can heal me again! Yay! I like being healed. It's more convenient than having to use up one of my items. Alright, so hopefully game back won't take too long. I'm gonna try and just finish this up. Finish this whole dungeon up, just try and get out before ending off the video. Might be a tad longer, but I'm willing. I'm willing to do that. Here we go. You must die. So I can get experience. Oh my gosh darn you. There we go. You can bet we will lose Fuji again. We will lose her many times. I forgot how many times, but we do lose her quite often. Ugh. My nose is itchy. Yeah, if I can just remember how to get back, that'd be pretty sweet. And look at how much money I've accumulated now. I have a lot. Just gotta be careful trying to hit these guys. There we go, unharmed. Completely unharmed. Except for any damage I might have taken beforehand. Oh, die! You're scary with your spinning head. Sp scary heads. Looks like that zombie's wearing an eye patch. That keeps switching positions. Ouch! How dare you! Oh, goodness! There's, there's too many of them. I'm gonna have to. There. Oh, I didn't have to re talk that wall. How nice. Should be nearing the end by now. Oh, shoot, it's the poison fish again! I don't like the poison fish. Okay, should be almost out. This is looking familiar. Yeah, it is. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Yes, please. Ah! Alright. There we go. 
and save here. I could end the video right now, but we're almost out. Almost. It's just a few more rooms down. And yeah, boss time. That's my victim. Mr. Lee the Vampire. He's a he's definitely a tougher foe. He'll warp to one of four various slots and then throw some bats at you. You gotta be constantly moving. You can try and destroy the bats, but that might be a little tricky. Unless you're like right up to him as you're about to hit him. Okay. This is why you can't get too risky. But this is also why I just saved. Saving's a good thing. Let's try that again. This time not do so poorly. If you get hurt, just have Fuji heal you up. And just play cautiously from there on out. Uh, ask. I just want to get this fight done before ending the video off. Just so that I can start in some newer territory. Oh gosh, I was facing the wrong way. Can't believe I did that. But if you need instantaneous healing, you should have some magic for cures. Ow. Nice! Thankfully you can attack him anytime you wish, and not only when his cape is open. Where's he gonna go? That way. Ow. Yeah, he hurts a lot. Wow. Okay, there we go. He's dead. Defeated the vampire and got the magic book asleep. Now we can put enemies to sleep. Are you right, Fuji? Yeah. Okay. Windows to the south. Let's hurry. Okay. We'll hurry in the next video. So now we know where we're going next time. Until then, this has been Tales 109 and have a nice day.